Once again from AliExpress I found a great module for 5 US dollars and what is it? It's a DC DC step down back converter constant current constant voltage DC from 6.5 volts to 36 volts input and you can adjust from 1.2 volts to 32 volts 5 amperes or 75 watts converter power supply module voltage regulator transformer. And here it is the, the module. It's a DIY kit with the case which is beautiful with transparent case. I will put a link in the description below so you can check it. I order it and I got it. What? No bubbles. A foam. I hate foam. But inside the module is in bubbles. Feeling good. Here it is the module. Okay. What else in the package? We have the transparent case, bolts, nuts, and what is this? A heat sink. little bit of assembling. All right. Beautiful made printed sucker board. And just to explain, the heatsink have self adhesive tape need to be at right here. We have input voltage on these terminals, output voltage right here, a potentiometer for adjusting the current four buttons in and out in and out for selecting in voltage and or out voltage to be shown on the display on off you can turn off or on or off the module and this is plus and minus for adjusting the voltage I assume and four LEDs for indicating charging full constant current indication and on off alright Let's assemble now. I'm gonna start with the heatsink. Okay. Press it real hard, and this way it will cool down this voltage regulator which is XL4015 alright Okay, here it is assembled and looking cool 
amazing, awesome. With those transparent pieces on top and the back, this DC DC converter voltage regulator looking cool and I like it. Okay. Let me tell you some of the specification of this gadget. As I said, working voltage from 6 to 36 volts input voltage. Output voltage can be adjusted from 1.2 to 30, 32 volts. Output current is 5 amperes. 4.5 amperes need a heatsink. 3.5 amperes stable for long time. Okay, voltage display on the on the screen it's from 1.2 to 32 volts voltage precision plus minus 0.1 volt current display range from 0 to 5 amperes conversion efficiency is about 94 percent and working current of this module is 30 milliamperes okay and the size width shell is 70 millimeters by 48 by 30 millimeters. Now it's time for testing. I put some input wires right here and output wires with clips. And I'm gonna hook up on my power supply and powering in 3, 2, one yes working fine so far let's right now i press the switch off also the led indicator turn it off turning on we have five volts input voltage it says in 12.2 volts and the output voltage is set on five volts I can adjust that using these plus and minus buttons. Set. Okay. 995. Out. Beautiful. Let's measure the output voltage with my multimeter. My very cool rechargeable multimeter. Also, the link will be in description below, so you can check it. Okay. And what it says? 9.92 volts. 9.95. Let's reduce that, let's say, to how much? Going down. 3.4. On the multimeter we have 3.45 cool it's accurate turning off zero 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 volts and it's reading a resistance of 100 ohms turning on because my multimeter is set on auto 3.4 3.4 i like it here i have a car bulb this one is 12 volts and it's pulling around 1.7 amperes i change the input voltage of 15 volts the output vol voltage is set on 12 volts let's power up the bulb and it's pulling 1.65 amperes and you can adjust the current using this potentiometer yes i can go to one amp and you can see that the constant current led turn it on going more yes and also i can adjust the voltage if i want look Six point three volts, one point one amper. Working like a charm. Beautiful. Also, you can use this module like a charger to charge lithium batteries. You need to set on four point two volts. 
hook up on the battery right now and you need you can see that it's pulling 1.9 amperes but you can adjust that with the potentiometer and go like this and if I want to charge with one ampere the job is done and when it reach 4.2 volts it will no draw any more current beautiful and let's make a short and see what will happen the constant current LED indicator is turned on 0, 0 volts 1.1 ampere no damage at the module good and just to mention the model of this module is zk j5 x version 3 it's really looking good and it's working fine okay that was all for today video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya beautiful